Hi guys, uh, I had a uh, today we're in a new song studio at Peel's Golf Club and what I'm going to talk about is another element of scoring and what is driving. So basically this lesson is towards one of the senior golfers I gave the lesson to last week and how important it is to try and address the ball or set up to ball correctly so we can hit the desired shot and gain consistency throughout our, our swing. So it's inevitably if you set up wrong to the, wrongly to the golf ball that you're going to um, basically hit a a poor shot or you're going to have to compensate along the, the along the lines to actually try and get the club back in the correct position. There's no right and wrong position, everyone's built differently. They all have different characteristics, we all swing for differently. I'm not going to have the same swing path as somebody that's six foot five. As I, as I was, just to reiterate that, is, so I had a, a lesson with a guy last week and what he was struggling with was, was with the fade, fade of the driver. So hit his irons pure, played off the handicap up. Handicapper, as you, can see, as you can see, it's pretty windy outside, so just trying to keep everything in close, just trying to keep the wind from getting in the bay. But eight handicapper, pretty good golfer, um, played a lot of his life on the links, on the links courses, so he's quite used to trying to hit that um, low driver off the day. And anyway, so to, to the back to that, the, the guy that I gave a lesson to was hitting high pushes or fades, push slices and he was hitting his arms pretty straight. But what I was trying to get in the him habit of doing is trying to ingrain that in your head that you hit up with the driver and hit down with an iron. He was pretty good with that, he did hit down with the iron. He was three views down on a six iron and sort of maybe two or three degrees up on the driver. But what he was struggling with was maybe hit too far up in the golf ball. So we get into a habit where we're so far as down the line so what people try and get into the habit of doing is we say to them, oh, move ball position, oh, your, your desired ball position should be off your left heel. But what they'll do is they'll, they'll set up to the golf ball. They'll, they'll set up with the ball position too far off the front foot, so almost off the left toe. But what this does is if I'm, if I'm down the line, right, what happens is if I move my ball position to the forward, look how my shoulders turn towards the left hand side. So let's say the camera is a target. And if I was to move my ball further forward, my body, my shoulders tilt to the left, my lower body kind of stays sat where it is, and my shoulders tilt slightly to the left. What that encourages is, it encourages contact to be made late on in the arc, so the club's already bottomed out, and the con contact is made past the low point, and the club's almost closing, so open the door in the back, so close the door in the down spot. So what he was trying to do was, the ball position was too far forward to start, and we sort of lean his upper body, and what this does is it opens up the shoulders. So if you want your shoulders, your shoulders are going to dictate the swing path. So if his shoulders are positioned to the left hand side, he's going to have to swing along that plate, the long line of shoulders, so you'll get that out to end swing path, which is known as slightly over the top. So what he was doing is ball position too far forward, and this tilts his shoulders out to the left, and as he was coming in impact, he was cutting across the golf ball. And if, when you're cutting across the golf ball, um, you've got to try and get the club back, the club face, to do something correctly to try and get or compensate for that, to try and get the club, the ball back on target. So what he was doing is swinging the left club face over to that path, and that's why he was getting fade to the driver. But anyway, what you need to get into the habit of doing is so if you, his shoulders were tilted to the left, but his feet were in a good square position, I'm not too focused about where his feet are in, I'm more worried about where his shoulders are in. So if his feet are too far to the left, if his feet are square, sorry, and then his shoulders are too far to the left, that's going to encourage his arms to swing in the direction his shoulders are aiming. So it's so important to try and set up to the golf ball correctly. I mean, this guy was losing about three or four strokes around by hitting the, the, with the fade of the driver. He's increasing spin rate, increasing curvature, and off centre strength because he wasn't used to that swing path. So what I tried to get him, I tried to get him into a scenario where he was understanding path and face mode. So what I mean by path is, Basically, have a club face alignment, and or sorry, path is the direction of travel of the club on the back swing and in the impact. So, club face alignment kind of started with. Well, first of all, I believe that the biggest fault that he had was kind of. So, if you do struggle with the fade of the driver, I want you to try and feel that you're moving the ball position slightly further back. So, if I'm in this position, instead of off your left heel, just try and move it back slightly. What this will encourage. So if I come from this angle, so if the ball is too far forward, my shoulders go further. If I bring the club almost back the way, my shoulders in a square position, 
So I, if I look at my left eye, I can see my left shoulder. What this will do is it will encourage him to swing from a closed position in, in to out. And from here, he will be able to swing with a club face so going right instead of the path going to the left where he's going to have to compensate by opening the club face. So what I tried to get him to do is move his ball position back. This, so if you move your ball position back, this tilts your body more to the right because we're moving this, the hula hoop. So we're moving the hula hoop back the way. So if I was moving the hula hoop this way, so let's have a look at the hula hoop. So if I was to move the hula hoop, so the centre point of the swing, so if I was to move the hula hoop round to the left, that's where the direction of travel will be So if I come down the line, so if I move the hula hoop, if I pretend I'm moving my shoulder, the hula hoop moves left. If I move the hula hoop, if I move this left shoulder more on in front of me, then the hula hoop moves. So it's kind of getting into the habit of doing that. So just try and square your shoulder up. And just try and feel like you're swinging from a slightly close position. So if I'm down the line, I can see my left shoulder. So square position, body alignment, dictate swing path. And I want you to try and feel like you're swinging more from the inside. So let's say we've had two golf balls. So we've two golf balls. Not as organised as I thought. But so what we're going to do is in order for us to hit a golf ball, we have to try and miss this inside box, so it's not it's not the best uh, prepared drill, but we come from the swing from the inside, it's got a long line, and I'll get the path going out to the right, get a face, get him closing the face to that path, but obviously the club face stays slightly open to the ball target line in order for it to start right of target, but that's as close to the swing path. So if you can get in the habit of doing that, you will understand your face and path relationship and understand why you're fading the golf ball. Because your shoulders are aiming to the left, that's why your, your arms are swinging in that direction, you're swinging out to in, effectively over the top, and your club face is open to that path, so that's why you're fading it. So if you can just try and close that club face and neutralise your swing path, you'll be on the correct, correct um, direction of travel and understand your own game. So go ahead and fit, thoughts on the video, let me know, or strip my channel, Jamie Randolph, follow me.